Winds out of the southwest at six on a 75 degree day. High fly ball ripped to deep right field at the track at the wall. Ozzie's done it again. A leadoff homer here in the first inning in Chicago. I got to use it. Holy cow. <laughs> My goodness, I don't know. We kind of run out of superlatives for this guy. 13th homer, 31st RBI, going the other way on Quintana. He's only given up five home runs, two to Ozzy. I knew I'd lead you into something that I couldn't handle. Driven out of the left. Cubs lead two to one. Albert Almora with a line shot homer. Get your dance on, fellas. Two outs, nobody on when it started. Schwarber takes the walk. Almora delivers the long ball. Hanging slider. First long one for Albert since uh, April 14th. Well, this is his second on the year, as a matter of fact. Look out, folks. Incoming. Swing and a towering fly ball hit deep toward left. At the track, at the wall, it's gone. Tyler Flowers with a majestic two run homer. He got a green light chip. It was a 3 0 count. And just like that, the Braves get those two runs back. The way the pop ups are carrying and the infielders are having to backpedal, you had a good feeling when this one took off, even though it was really high, that it was going to have enough behind it to carry out of here. With an on base plus slugging of 1,020. Drive out in the deep left. It will go. Cubs lead again. Four to three. Well, as Owen as S just jumped up a bit with that swing of the bat. Home run number eight for Chris Bryant. You know, so many of these Cub hitters having one heck of a homestand. That little get over slider, more of a cement mixer, didn't really do a whole lot until a point of impact there. Oh, one slide ball. Swing and a high fly ball toward left. Schwarber back into the well. He turns, it's over his head. It's gone. Three run homer Batista. They waited too long. Yes, sir. Jose Batista's hit the ball hard three times today. One that he pulled foul, remember? A rocket down the left field line. He hit one deep to right. And now he launches this. Pop bottle rocket <laughs> that Kyle Schwarber really deep me. I thought he was under. I want to know what the launch angle was on that. One one on Barnhart. High fly ball into oh, right field, oh, and oh, this one will fly out of here. And Tucker Barnhart all of a sudden has put the Reds right back in this one. He had an RBI single his first time, now a two run home run, number three on the year. Well, this was a no doubter because you, what I like to do is watch the outfielder Andrew McCutcheon hardly even moved. He took a couple of steps and said, "Uh, uh, didn't fly all the way into the bay." But you have the pitcher spot due up fourth or third rather here in the inning. That's the number eight spot, and this ball is driven into right field, and this one will fly out of here. That's a home run for Shevlin. 
And now all of a sudden a 6-1 game has become a 6-4 game. Shemler had an interesting day, I think, in San Francisco yesterday or in Los Angeles yesterday, where he made outs on very weakly hit ground balls in the very first pitch he saw, I think, at every at bat. This time he has walloped the ball. A double down the left field line, a hard hit ball as a single in the fourth, and this bomb on a first pitch breaking ball. Belt, high drive, right field. Here. His seventh. Should have read that promo earlier, don't you think? Well, I, I thought we did good. Let's take a look at it. Right on the inside corner. And just drop the head and start dropping. He just hits up to the keeper from going in the water. Good. Ball in the air to deep left center field, and Duvall plays long ball. That makes it a 10 to 7 game. Well, what a way to come off the bench tonight for Adam Duvall. Single hit by a pitch and three run home run. And especially the venue in which he is hitting the ball so well. Of course, he, the former Giant, a lot of people thought that he was worth keeping around, but he ran into such problems here at AT&T Park that they just decided to let him go. And they really thought that after a while that this ballpark kind of got into his head. Jose Ramirez deep right field it is gone and the Indians lead it one to nothing. Speaking of power there you have it 13 home runs on the year for Jose Ramirez he has 16 runs batted in now in his last 16 games. He heard you talking Matt and he says OK we're no I have 13 now he has 12 <laughs> so they have 25. <laughs> and this is a, a pitch that's elevated want to see if it's a fastball it was he was trying to get it but I'll tell you you don't throw the fastball by Ramirez up there he can catch up to it especially when it's about 87 gets it into the seats so the Indians will. Ooh, high towering drive right field that ball is hit well going to the track going to the wall and it's gone. Nico Goodrum with a two run shot and the Tigers take the lead. Look out Nico. I see you. Ooh, Nico got his big wood pants on partner last couple days. That was sitting on a tee at 94. Fastball at 94. He lifted and separated over the out of town scoreboard. Over the bit pit sign. Swing and a high drive. Deep right field. Back to the track. To the wall. Nico has done it again. Uh oh, Nico. A three run homer to break it open late for the Tigers. This ball's lifted a deep left field by Castro. has got a chance to get out. Gone. Tie ball game. First home run in a Rockies uniform for Daniel Castro. An unlikely power source. Castro getting the curveball down and in. 
Right where he wants it. He got the curve. He got the curve and he turned it out of here. This ball's launched deep left field. It's got a chance. Take a good look. You won't see it for long. First career home run, Noel Cuevas. Got a baby Noel. And his first career RBI. And it gives the Rockies a 3-2 lead. He told us before the game, he said, if I see a fastball early, I'm aggressive. That's how I've always been. Over the last couple weeks, watching Cuevas play, I'm hoping Rockies fans have an appreciation for how he plays the game. And this ball's hit to deep right field. This is way back, and this is gone. Who doesn't like a three-run bomb? Six to three, Colorado. That ball may not have been up, but it went up, up, and away. For Parra, just his second home run of the year. That was timely. Parra with the start tonight against the lefty, and now he gets the right-handed reliever, gets one down and in. He knew it off the bat. First home run since March the 30th. And that is hit well. Out to left center field. Back goes Pollock. It is gone. Jonathan Villar goes opposite field, and it's 5-2 Milwaukee. They have a night. Well, he's got incredible power. And opposite field for VR, where it really didn't seem like the ball was carrying for anybody else. Just powers that one out of the ballpark. Well, he got one out over the plate and gave it a ride. Watch the way he stays back. That's a nice swing and just jumps off his bat, carries out of here. Saladino to center field. Pollock a long run. Can't get it. It's going to go up the wall. Yelich will score. Saladino rounding third. Eddie Cedar waving him around. Throw to the plate. And safe at home is Saladino. And inside the park, home run. What a send by Ed Cedar. I didn't think he was going to send him. And he said, you know what, why not? We got a lead, let's see if he can get it. And he did. Boy, oh boy, how about that? Like we were saying, this Saladino kid's helping the ball club. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness <Yeah>. gracious. <laughs> well, check it out, you know, fastball out over the plate. And Saladino, check out Pollock. He's going to dive for it. And once it gets by him, you figure he's got a shot at it. Like Peralta on his horse, he got there. But watch Ed Cedar. You can see him a very late send. He's not doing much yet. And now right about here says, go ahead. He didn't have much left, did he? He did. The tank was getting low. Yeah, but he made it. Three and two to Matt Joyce. Joyce drives on the right field. Betts turning around, and that baby's gone. Good swing. Matt Joyce gives the A's a 1-0 lead here in the third. And that's not a green monster shot either. That's a true home run when you go right field at Fenway Park. Trying to go inside. That ball just... Right there, and that swung. He knew it just like he did in New York. So a couple of home runs on this road trip for the A's outfielder. No doubt it. Just to the right of the A's bullpen in right field. Playing well, Kurt Suzuki, another former athletic who is catching for them. Olsen rips one right field, and that baby's gone. A line shot over the bullpen yeah. and into the seats. Yeah, that's always a big boy home run. You go over the pen. 
seeing Conseco as a right hander go over the bullpens, but I mean, you could just hear the crowd or not hear the crowd, however you want to put it. As soon as Matt Olson, another 3 2 shot, and kind of another case of a 3 2 pitch that may be too much the to plate for Rick Porcello. And Matt Joyce did it on a 3 2 pitch, and now with this shot, go back to back nine innings against this ball club. High fly ball that one driven deep to left field and this one is not coming back. Boy, the kid can do that can he. He struggled his first couple of at bats struck out on three pitches in the third inning and now in his third at bat he takes Manaya out. He does take Manaya out all the way to the green monster. We're talking about Manaya starting to throw more fastballs, more fastballs. The pitch before, you can tell he was sitting on fastball, thinking he's getting again fouled off the slider to get to this fastball right here. Look at those hips, stay in and fire. Eyes up, launched all the way to the people right there. Our high strength steel play brought to you by New England Chevy dealers and the Chevy Silverado. Driven to right. Betts going back. Still going back. And that baby's gone. Done it again. <laughs> you know what? If I were the team, I'd salute him too, because that's a big boy fly ball. To go to right field at Fenway and Kipe just like they did on Friday night. The Red Sox score a run like the Yankees did. The A's come right back and score another one. Thanks to the big man, Chris Davis. With the fastball away and tremendous power to the opposite field into the bullpen. And when you see the back of Betts uniform, you know it's got a chance, and it does over the Xfinity sign into the A's bullpen. Martinez with a high fly ball into right field deep. Can his back says he has it. Lunges and the ball is out of here. That is gone. He could not make the catch. To the opposite field, Martinez again. And the Red Sox are once again within one. Once again within one. There's JD swinging at pitch one. They're still attacking him, pitch one, for some reason, right there. Gets a fastball a smidge elevated, possibly thinking he's taking it because he swung at three previous ones. No, 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 not JD. Right in his power slot, right center. Just enough over Canna's glove to get a home run, RBI, and one run closer to the lead. Old Dominion, the official freight carry, Major League Baseball. <laughs> that's, that's unbelievable. Blow in. How about seven second hang time for that baby? Oh, man. That ball stayed up there forever. It took advantage of that wind off the bat. It looked like it was going to be a routine can of corn. Whitley will take it. Look at that. That's right, that right in the middle. Belt high, center cut, and hit that ball sky high. And it just drifted and drifted and drifted.